So here we are back with part two um, of trying to build a concrete deck on top of a void, storage area, storm shelter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did not put gravel underneath this. Uh, if you'll check out my first video, you'll see that I basically built a deck frame and supported it by block pillars. But anyway, I've, uh, I've built the floor and I'm going to have concrete poured in a little while. I guess still got to get my rebar chairs put under. But the main thing is I'm showing you is to uh, seal off the top of the block wall. Of course, I had rebar installed in that and uh, you know concreted, but there are still holes where they weren't filled. We just uh, rebarred every third hole and cemented it, leaving the other two holes in between open. So instead of uh, pouring this concrete and all that going down in there, I have put down uh, roofing shingles as a, a way to seal that off. And as you can see, you know, I'm coming around next to the house uh, to where I can keep that free. Um, then the other thing I wanted to show you is the in cutting the roofing shingles to size to fit underneath the edge of the house here or whatever size you may need them to be uh, if you did for whatever reason want to go along there your rail there like imperfection there um, you want a way to cut your roofing cutting them with a knife is labor intensive what i found works pretty good is use my circular saw and just cut several at a time i wouldn't go in more than somewhere about five or six something like that at a time but just uh, build you a little little jib up or whatever you want to call those things and uh, just run your saw down through there really quick and fast and uh, pretty well straight as long as your piece is straight so uh, good luck i know this is a pretty ragtag but that's what uh, what we got going on here have a good day and I hope this works for you.